Yes. I know. Uh, watching this backstage is like, you're always entertaining, but they're really entertaining. <laughs> It's really turned into. I'm. I'm. I look forward to coming every day for them. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. You guys are just. You're just. You're. You're beaming. You yeah. Know? I don't think there's any sunshine. It's all overcast today in California, isn't it? Because I think the sunshine is right in here. That's right. They suck it in. Oh, you should write for Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Well, it was Valentine's yeah. Day. It was Valentine's Day. What, what did you do? What did you now? You know that everybody knows that your husband is Bradford, who is on uh, 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 Bradley. Bradley. Brad, he I call has, him Bradford. Yeah, everybody. He has yeah. interchangeable wasp syllables. Yes, but Bradley Whitford. Yes. He could be Bradford Whitley. He could, he could be. be. You could break up his name about any way. And you he want. doesn't care. That's how sweet he is. He doesn't mind. <laughs> but he's on the West Wing, just to remind everybody. So, what did y'all do for uh, Valentine's Day? Well, we kind of had an unusual Valentine's Day. We had a lot of invitations to do things, little dinner parties, and everyone goes out to dinner. We decided to stay home and just go to bed. Um, <laughs> I wish, I wish it was that kind of going to bed. No, it was going to bed. Uh, it was, um, really? we had a babysitter. We had the babysitter come in. Now this is getting too kinky for me. <laughs> Just, no. let's talk about something else. Gloria came and she spends the night on Saturday nights. She spent the night and we put the kids to bed and then we went upstairs with uh, a bottle of champagne and books. Nope, we weren't allowed to read any newspaper, any editorials, we were kind of news junkies. You just drank and read? <laughs> <laughs> But you know, like catalogs and, uh -huh. and home magazines. Oh, that's risky to be drinking and looking at catalogs. You're ordering stuff, you're gonna be so sorry the next day, you know? No, but we had a very, um, we just wanted to stay in and get into bed early uh -huh. and just have a relaxing evening without anybody else. It was just the two of us. So it was a really, that's sweet. it was well, nice. Well, that's what it's about. It's about whatever is, is relaxing for you. Yeah. So that's a We very... go out a lot. Uh, well, we, we have to go out for a lot of things with work, a lot uh -huh. of socializing with television shows right. and, and, you know, award shows and, and I'm not complaining, but, you know, that stuff kind of takes its toll on you after yeah. a while. So staying home to um, just <laughs> drink and go to sleep yeah. <laughs> was yeah. really great. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to hear any complaints from me. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, well, that's great. And now, uh, when you, because you're both on, t I find I hardly have any time to watch TV. I mean, I'm trying to keep up on everything because I have everybody on the show. Mm -hmm. But when, when y'all are at home, what, what shows do you watch when you watch TV? We, you know, TiVo everything. God bless TiVo. Yeah. How could you live without yeah. that? Uh, so there are a couple, most, of it, most everything on the TiVo is, you know, Sesame Street, Bear in the Big Blue House, Dora. Me our, too. We have three. <laughs> Our kids are six, four, and one, so uh -huh. that's what they watch. But this year, I'm TiVoing Arrested Development, which is yeah, brilliant. It's great, it's really great. Brilliant show. Yeah. Um, and The Apprentice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's my. Yeah. I've got my nanny, Joanna McNeil, who is just out of Cornell. Of, mm -hmm. You know this brilliant young lady who helps me, and she TiVos, is, TiVos these shows, and she goes, you just gotta watch this, you gotta watch this. So that's how I got watching The Apprentice, yeah. was from Joanna. And I'm watching it. How great is that yeah, show? Yeah, Donald Trump is on the show, I think, next week. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a how lot. All the time of you're watching, because you think, is that going from the back forward, or from the front? Fascinating, and I, I'm gonna ask him. I'm sure he's been asked before. Well, and Joanna's boyfriend um, uh, works at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, so he's a rocket scientist, mm -hmm. and they can't figure it out at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. <laughs> Donald wow. Trump's hair. Well, maybe I can do that. Maybe I can answer a lot of questions for people. But I really am also, do you know, who do you think is gonna win? Are you, are you already? What, I'm, what I love about that show is it's so surprising to me. First of all, it's been surprising Donald Trump's personality, because you kind of think of Marla Maples and, Ivana mm -hmm. and those days in mm -hmm. the 80s when yeah. he had a very different personality. What I'm very impressed by with him is his, his uh, dispatch in firing people. And, it, and he's not nasty about it. It's not like Simon who has gotten, you know, it is so nasty. I don't want to watch people being that mean to each other. Right, I don't like that either. Donald is just very, he listens, he makes a quick decision. 
the, um, nice to know you, but you're fired. Thank you. Right. And, and they've got their little suitcases. They yeah. all have those suitcases <laughs> hanging by the door. Yeah. But I, I'm in awe of that. Yeah. I, Brad and I are always so afraid of hurting someone's, someone's feelings or not giving them enough money or whatever that to watch Donald be so clear-headed and... Um, it is very admirable. Well, he's, uh, I find it interesting, too, because when I heard about the concept of the show, I thought it could be interesting, but it's really turned out to be mm -hmm. very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> more than just a little interesting. Uh, we have to take a break, and I'm not even going to shy away from telling you that. <laughs> I was going to ask you about your your family because uh, the family is very dysfunctional. In, uh, no, we no. are not dysfunctional on Malcolm in the Middle. We're no. very fun. We're 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 not passive aggressive. We're just aggressive. Yeah, that's what I meant to but say. You know exactly what you're going to get with yeah. that family. And, and was your family anything like that? My family, well, I think part of the reason I feel so comfortable doing Lois and being on that show is that my family, I didn't realize how eccentric they were until I realized that Malcolm in the Middle doesn't seem that odd to me. And I think, you know, my father is a brilliant, uh, brilliantly resourceful person. He used to, we had all these clocks in the house, but they never worked until you'd come home one day and they'd all be ticking. He'd go and put the batteries in them and you knew company was coming. <laughs> it was always the way you knew someone was coming over because he'd go and he'd put the batteries back in the clocks. He would save batteries until company came over? The... It was just not being wasteful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, I remember one morning hearing my mother laughing and he had figured out that it's more expensive to heat, to heat water from uh, a water heater than it is from electricity. So what if they got rid of the hot water heater and just heated their water for cooking and washing on the stove or the microwave, which is electric, and get rid of the hot water heater in the house? So you would actually, to take a bath, you'd heat pots of water and put that in the tub? He thought that was a great idea, and, they, <laughs> and my mother didn't, so yeah. that didn't happen. Uh -huh. But it was a real, you know, we never, I grew up in a house with, you know, uh, one bathroom, just like they do on Malcolm, and uh -huh. it would be very hot in the summers, and we didn't have air conditioning, and we would set up lawn chairs in the basement, and my mother would teach us Latin. We had, <laughs> she was a Latin teacher, and she'd take out a chalkboard and teach us Latin and make pickles. <laughs> and she sent me pickles last year in an empty, you know, uh, a peanut butter jar with you know, gaffer's tape around it and some pickles that she made. What's that got to do with one bathroom? I'm still there, <laughs> and suddenly you're in the basement learning Latin and making pickles, and I'm... I, <laughs> I, well, I guess it was just that you just thought that's what families did. Yeah. Well, and I, I had one bathroom, too, but we didn't do you know that. How many kids did you, did you have? Two kids. Yeah, we had four. Yeah. With the two adults. So it yeah. was, you know, you got used to a lot of people in a lot of stages yeah. of undress. Um, yeah. In that bathroom. Yeah, uh, going down to check on the pickles right. became like a fun thing to do. <laughs> I just, I There's just, nothing in that. Yeah, no, there isn't. There's nothing, but I was going to go somewhere with it. But uh, <laughs> hey, the 100th episode of Malcolm in the Middle airs this Sunday at 9 o'clock on, on Fox. Mm -hmm. So congratulations Thank to you. you. Thank you. Jeff Krebs will join me right after this. Thank you.